make a carbonara dish using kippers. So I've got pasta cooking here in salted boiling water and that'll take about nine minutes to cook to al dente. I've got a non-stick pan here just getting nice and warm, ready to cook. So the first thing we need to do is take the skin off these kippers. Using a knife, just kind of cut into the flesh, get the knife parallel to the chopping board. Kind of run it along, keep the skin nice and tight and just push the knife gently away from you. And that should take all the skin off. And then all you do, fold the two fillets together and just cut through into nice little chunks. So when you're eating the pasta dish, you get that nice little hit of smokiness. So that's the fish ready. Just need a little bit of olive oil into the pan. So just drizzle that in, probably a tablespoon there. And then carefully pop the fish straight into the pan. Spread it all out so it's all on one level and then all the fish will get cooked. So while that's cooking, we're just going to get some lemon zest into the pan. And this will just cut the richness and the smokiness of the fish. And then I've got some double cream here. So I'll pour that in. Give it a nice shake about. Turn the pan right down now because you don't want the cream to evaporate too much. Pasta's had nine minutes, so it's nice and al dente, perfect for this dish. So just lift it straight into the frying pan. This is the way the Italians always make pasta dishes. You always take the pasta to the pan. And it's on just a really low, gentle heat now, so it'll just kind of warm through gently. So this is quite rich dish at the moment, so what we need to do is add some lemon juice to cut the richness of the cream and the fish. So we'll just give that a nice squeeze in there, not too much. It's all about getting a nice balance. One last hit, we're just going to add some nice, fresh, vibrant chives to this dish. And that'll just give it a nice savoury flavour and you'll get wonderful little dashes of dark green in there. So just chop the chives straight into the dish there, give it a nice shake. Season with a bit of black pepper as well. I'm not going to add any salt to this because the pasta had some salt in the water anyway and the fish is quite salty. Give it a shake and that's it. Look at that, it smells fantastic. Really, really smoky, just like you'd expect a carbonara to be. Nice and creamy and rich. I'm just going to add a tiny little touch of more black pepper onto there and that's it, it's ready. Carbonara with kippers.